So guys, it's been a little bit since we took a look at Geronimo's Discord, and I want to do that again with you guys, just keep you guys updated as to what's going on in this uh, pivotal moment in tactical VR games that we all believe Geronimo is going to be. They made a really big announcement in their announcements channel on Discord. We're going to get to that as well, but I want to kind of cover what they've been working on. But uh, what they said in the announcements page right here, it's... Um, Depending on how you view it and depending on your outlook on tactical games, you're going to have a very polarizing different opinion on it. I want to hear what you guys think down in the comments, uh, but let's go ahead and get into what they've been working on. So back in May, they talked about they were working on Unreal Engine 5 and the OpenXR, working on some of the framework of the game with uh, Unreal Engine 4.2.7 and, and uh, Unreal Engine 5. Uh, they're also working on IR improvements, uh, working on the uh, lasers and illuminators. Uh, which already look amazing based off of some of the videos we've already been able to see. They also mentioned that Windows Mixed Reality is one of the headsets that gave them trouble, but they're happy they got through it. As far as testing, furthermore, we keep receiving valuable feedback about bugs, mistakes, and inconsistencies, which we are patching almost daily. We will be expanding the amount of testers as we go, but please note that questions for access will be ignored as we pick our testers ourselves. Uh, so they talk about what's next. Uh, it was character customization, uh, which we've gotten bits and pieces of TV on over the couple of years but we haven't seen anything uh, solid especially not recent they also mentioned that they're working on the virtual stock and the rollables and of course the weapons which uh, based off of their previous uh, statements has been something that they've just been working on indefinitely oh uh, they do mention right here as well we are not cqb experts so don't expect proper tactics in the footage we share so expect flagging i did mention flagging in one of their videos i do apologize would love to get in some sessions with you guys and run down some uh some uh, cqb tactics but anyhow uh we're gonna check out these videos that they posted real quick so you see just some low light shooting we see those nods flip down again which right now we're restricted to that uh, one eye view. It looks absolutely amazing. The gun smoke coming off looks great. Ah, uh, just looks absolutely stunning. Let's jump into the other one. We're seeing that work that they're doing with the NVGs. Uh, the blur is pretty good. A little strong, but not too bad. Probably looks better in his eyes as well. Looks like putting on dead shirt. Blasting and moving. See, that's not too bad. It's not too bad, boys. Hey, you know what? You're in CQB. You're going to flag a little bit. It's all right. <laughs> as long as you keep your finger off the booger picker while you're flagging, you're good. Good team awareness, though. Good team awareness. He's looking at his buddy, making sure that they're uh, in sync. So not a bad little sh clip right there. All right, so this was uh, this one was on 5-1, I believe. 5-3, five, 5-3. Three, five, three. Uh, jumping down here, we're getting 5-24, so pretty frequent there with that update. Uh, they say, sit rep 11, hi everyone, we're back with an update. As you know, we've been working hard on character customization and we're approaching the final line. In the attached pictures, you see a few of the many, many available combinations. For reference, we can create almost any operator you want, whether they're Eastern European, NATO, conventional, unconventional, PMC, etc. Almost all the items have color and camo options, so you won't get bored quickly. We're also working on masks and won't show them yet. Those will come later. In the meantime, you can see a custom building we made for one of our Afghan-themed maps. So cheers. Uh, so this is what he's talking about right here is the... Uh, uh, Afghan theme map uh, looks really good and obviously it's on that flat texture where it's like a testing you know map they have um, so we don't get to see the actual uh, see it in its element so it looks a little funky but if you just focus on the building uh, for a tactical VR game uh, stunning I'm jumping into the operator here looks amazing I'm actually going to open a browser real quick because I'm curious about so what I am wondering a while back they posted uh where you could customize all your kit, uh, like what's actually on your vest. And I kind of wondering if they're still going that route. Uh, you can see some of the unfinished texture here, like the belt isn't complete and things like that. Um, so they are still a work in progress as they state uh, at the end of that post. Um, but 
like they said, it doesn't look like you're going to be, if you can customize all of this, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to create just about anything you want. So uh, something really good to see. Let's get back into the other pictures here. Right here uh, looks like control pairs. Not sure if that's what they're going for, uh, but that's the vibe I'm getting for some reason with the boonie. Yeah, that looks absolutely amazing coming from what we've come from in tactical vr games absolutely stunning getting into sip rep, sit rep 12 here this one actually came out uh, uh july 5th we fully finalized character customization and are super happy with it with all the items we managed to cram in there four implementations for lmgs shotguns and snipers have been completed and pebbles is now working hard to get that guns to do list down using these new systems uh which i feel like that's been a to-do list for a long time uh I, I can't imagine the amount of guns and combinations that they've squeezed in here based off how long they've been working on it then they have here the return of the king uh king scratched out ai uh Will's pebbles is doing that i have returned to my personal project which is ai having spent many many hours researching designing and coding the core framework it still stands very firm and we are super satisfied with it it allows us to create an interesting versatile ai however the final hurdle that we have now arrived at is using that framework to design the most desirable ai behaviors that suit the game you are creating after many brainstorming and testing sessions we have come up with in our opinions ideal ai for Geronimo's use case, it's time to realize our AI vision into reality. I think they mean a virtual reality, but <laughs> pretty much what they're going over there is they're pretty much saying, hey, AI isn't something that's plug and play. Uh, if you're making one of these cookie cutter tactical games that sell for 20 bucks and end up bombing after a few months, then yeah, sure, it's plug and play um, to an extent. But I feel like with the extent that Geronimo, the love that they have put into the development of this game so far, they are not going to stop at plug and play. I genuinely feel like they will not allow this game to see the light of day without it being <laughs> the best, I mean best, all caps, tactical VR experience you'll ever have. <sighs> Unfortunately, that leads us into our announcements channel here and leads us into this post here. Hi everyone, we have made a decision that from this point on, we're going to be completely silent with dev updates and showcases up until the release of Geronimo. This means you will no longer be getting any news as to what we are working on, when we are working on it, or even if we are working on something. The next time you'll hear from us and see footage of Geronimo is when it's fully ready for release, meaning it won't be long after until it actually does release and the release date will be set. We still will be around in the server and interact with the community from time to time, but the development will continue in complete silence and peace. We are making this decision due to multiple factors. However, the biggest one is that we have sincerely noticed that all the fun got sucked out of development due to the pressure of trying to release updates and keeping everyone in on the loop without revealing stuff we didn't want to have revealed yet. What started as a hobby project quickly grew more and more into a commercial project, which is exactly the opposite of what we want it to be. We want to spend our free time into development because we like to, not because we have to. We are not a full-time game studio. Our full-time jobs revolve around creating VR simulations for educational purposes, specifically VR nursing and hospital simulations. We just make games on the side in our spare time because we find that very fun to do. However, there have been and will be weeks, for example, where we are simply so backed up with our full-time jobs that we don't have the energy and time to work on our game projects. Until next time, sincerely, Stilton and Pebbles. So along with the rest of this Discord community, when we see a notification and announcements or even dev updates, uh, our, our, our heart jumps a little bit. We, we get very excited very quickly. Uh, so when I saw the notification and announcements and opened it up, and I saw this, my, my initial thought was, it was gut-wrenching. It was like, damn, these guys are, you know, just kind of backing away from the community. But I stopped and took a step back and looked at it more objectively. And honestly, this game from the get-go has been battling expectations. If you go back to the very early days of this community, you'll see that. You'll see people come in and ask questions like, are you going to do the Glock the right way? Um, and, you know, when... The tactical community comes to you expecting you to fulfill things as minute as do the Glock correctly. I feel like that does put a lot of pressure on you as a dev because if you're expected to do that correctly, you're expected to do a whole lot more correctly. And there's also pressure outside of the server. Myself, in the videos I've had covering uh, what Stilton and Pebbles are doing here, I've been very 
full of high expectations of these developers and saying that, you know, they're going to save, they're going to be the breakthrough for tactical VR games. You know, they're going to be, maybe they'll walk so a AAA could run, or maybe these guys would become AAA at some point. You know, I've been one of the ones pushing that stress onto them. And as much as it's a bummer that we're not going to get those dev updates in the, I actually, <laughs> I, I intend more that I want this to be a fun for them. You know, it's an old adage that you can tell when a cook enjoys their work because the food tastes better. And I feel that that also applies to video games. Um, I mean, we've all felt that same way about the Call of Duty games here recently. You can tell that there's no love in the production that is purely a money grab because we don't see that when we play the game. We don't feel that passion coming from these developers anymore. So I feel it was a big move. It was a hard move for Stilton and Pebbles to put all that feeling that they had in these two paragraphs and break that down for the community. So big props to them for being able to do that. So, all that being said, I really want to know what you guys' opinion of this is. When you got that announcement and you opened it up, what were your first thoughts and how did that thought grow on you? In the meantime, please be safe, stay happy, and peace out.